Doctors are responding to protesters who turned out at the state house calling for the governor to reopen Massachusetts now. The doctors say by turning out in those large groups, the protesters are putting themselves and others at risk. Here's Anna Ritis Rodriguez. As hundreds protested the state lockdown, the shutdown now. scenes of a crowded Beacon Street frustrated frontline workers, many taking to social media in disbelief, like this North Andover doctor who wrote, these people right here are making my job and my life overall so much harder. Well, quite frankly, the protest was not only misguided, it was selfish and it really posed a threat to the public health. Dr. John Santiago is an emergency physician at Boston Medical Center and a state legislator. He says they are starting to see a decline in hospitalizations, but gatherings like these could set them back in the fight against the coronavirus. Absolutely, that can change within a second. I mean, one only has to think about the Biogen conference and how that was a seminal event for this spreading the virus. But right now, we need to continue to prioritize public health and saving lives. Recent polling does suggest a majority of people agree with the extension of the shutdown. A new Suffolk survey finding 85% of residents support the governor's decision. We are operating here at a very high stress level. Dr. Shira Doron is an epidemiologist at Tufts Medical Center. She says she understands people's frustrations, but stresses that health care providers are still working in difficult conditions. We are so far from being out of the woods and we're so far from being able to take an increase in sick patients at this time. Darone says they're bracing for another increase in cases when the economy reopens and hoping people understand the novel coronavirus will remain a serious threat. I'm Anna Rodriguez, CBSN, Boston.